my name is Sarah Corbett Lynch, I'm 13 years old, and I'm the author of the collection of series books which I have called the Book of Wonder series. Brilliant. And tell me what the series is about and what this first book is about. Um, well, the first book is about my experiences in life, and I really wanted to um, help other children in what they're going through. And when I was going through difficult times, I thought about reading other people's stories really helped me, so I decided to write about my own. Great. And what was your favourite part about writing a book? My favourite part was the imagination part. You would just like, you get this really, like every once in a while you just get this really like bright colour and you just want to write about it. And that was really my favourite bit. I just loved, I loved writing it. Brilliant. And it got a mention on the, late, on the Late Late Toy Show. That must have been very special for you. Yeah, we didn't even know it was going to happen. And when it came up, I started bawling my eyes out. I bet. Oh, that's lovely. And have you heard responses from people who've read the book? Um, yes, I have. They've all said really, really nice things and it makes me feel very special and I'm really thankful for all of them. Yeah, yeah, we're very proud of her. Look, we're very proud of all of the kids. Um, no matter what they do, and once they're happy, we're happy. Mm, great stuff. So what have the past, I'll say, week has been like for your family? You've got, you had a mention on the toy show with the book and, and you're going on the, the news tonight with it and Ryan Tobergy and, and multiple press interviews. What's that been like? Um, it's been quite surreal really and we were sitting down like every other family across Ireland um, on Friday night and uh, watching the late late and had no idea um, and Ryan picked up the book and started talking about you know Noodle Loses Dead and uh, Sarah and I she just burst out crying um, she was just so overwhelmed and for him to kind of acknowledge her in that way and you know, and I'm very proud of her that she has that type of impact on mm. people when she meets them. She is really inspirational and we're very lucky she just lights up our lives. Yeah. But most importantly for Sarah, I think, is in terms of her own experiences that she sees writing the book as an opportunity to be able to reach other kids and mm. provide some comfort to them. I think she, when um, she'd come across some very sad stories in the last couple of years and it really made Sarah think about the other children and it opened up a conversation with us and she'd already written her stories but then she decided she wanted to get it out there. So it took a while for her to convince us. Absolutely. Um, you know, because like I said, you're just trying to make sure you make the right decisions and Sarah's 13, you know. Yeah, so this is the first book of a series of five, I believe. <laughs> so, five, so you've far. got a busy few months or perhaps even a few years in the, in the making. What's that feel like? Uh, well, we'll see. Um, we've agreed to one, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, you know, this is really special. And I think this story um, is very special to Sarah. Her other stories are equally as amazing. Um, but we'll take it one step at a time. <laughs> um, Poochie and Pug treated Paws and Noodle just like their very own foxes. They became a new, blended family, one built with love. Aww.